Hi guys. So if you've got a vehicle, I'm sure you've noticed uh, these numbers on your tires. And if you've been wondering what do they mean, uh, by the end of this video, you will know what do those numbers mean. And you will also be able to know how to tell if your tire is good or if it is not. So well, without wasting much of your time, let's jump into it. So we're going to jump onto this old tire, as you can see, 175 slash 65 R14. So uh, as you can see, it's a radial tubeless and then uh, maximum load is 475 kilograms. And then uh, you also, the brand of the tire, it's a server. And then if you look below, there's 82T, right? So I'm going to explain more uh, when we look at the slightly newer tire. So as you can see, guys, this is quite an old tire. Uh, it, it, it's no longer roadworthy. If you're using these kind of tires, just know that you you are applying to go to heaven, guys. So as you can see, uh, there are no threads. And one other thing that you can do for you to determine uh, if it is still a good tire, I've got a two-rent coin here that you can uh, use. So what I normally prefer to do is on the two rent coin, coin there's a side which is written Africa Boro. Uh, if you put it uh, on the tire, like on the grooves, and if you can still see where it's written Africa Boro, guys, you should just know it's time to change that tire. Uh, I know a lot of um, people, especially here in South Africa, we, we walk around with these two rent coins, so should you want to just know uh, the, if your tire is still in good condition you can do as i am doing in, in, in this video as you can see guys you can clearly see where it's written africa Bora. so this is really not a good tire for you to be using you know look as i am even moving it across the on, on, on the tire you can still clearly see it it's gonna make a difference when I show you on the new tire how it should look like. So guys, this is a very good example of a worn out tire. You can see there are no threads, no nothing, not even grooves. It's basically smooth, guys. I can feel that it's basically smooth. And on this part, you can see there are actual threads that are within the tire. So when you see this, guys, just know that your tire is no longer in the condition. Uh, that is uh, that is suitable for for use so uh, if you also see here the threads and also the this tire i think it's because of also wheel balancing uh, the inside of it it's really out now we're gonna jump on to the new tire. 185 is the width of the tire in millimeters 60 is the height of the tire as a percentage of the width of the tire and then r is the radial and then 15 uh, that's the size of the rim 84 h that's the load index uh, 84 representing 500 kilograms and h 210 kilometers uh, is the maximum speed that you can do on this tire and then the brand is a continental and then this side you see those numbers uh, written uh, 20 12 22 so it means this tire was manufactured on the 12th week of 2022 now guys if you look at this tire is pretty much different to the first one uh, look at the grooves uh, you've got uh, quite big gaps here uh, it's totally different guys this tire is slightly newer so I am gonna take my two rent coin and show you what I was explaining earlier on so if you see on Africa Bora, if we put on the groove can you see that guys you can no longer see uh, the Africa Boro, like it's it's submerged. Uh, right now, I'm not putting it, and then you can see it. You can see it, and then if I put it in the groove, you see you can no longer see it. So this shows that this tire is still in good condition. This is how you can test if your tire is still in good condition. Uh, obviously, if you don't have uh, that measuring tool, because um, not everyone walks around with those measuring tools so this is a simple way to check if your tire is still in good condition you see here on these grooves uh, just close to, uh, to the, like on the outside of, of, of the tire uh, it's still pretty much good 
so this is how you differentiate between the two um, as you can see guys this one is still has even a, a little bit of threads on it so this is still a good tire overall and then as you can see the brand it's a continental tire um, it's a continental tire so this is still a good tire that you can obviously maybe do a lot of uh, distance on it so yeah guys uh, this is what i get for you uh, in today's video it's just a short video just for you to know how to uh, tell if your tire is good and what do those numbers mean so guys uh, in this case this one is an 84h so don't be doing speeds which are more than 220 otherwise you're new anyway see you in the next one Cheers.